Hello friends, welcome to Coding Host YouTube channel. In this video, I will share with you my IBM interview experience. So in this video, you can expect these following things. So the role was Associate Software Engineer and it is an entry level of campus hiring and you should be from batch 2020 or 2021 with less than 2 years of experience. And students from these courses are eligible like BE, BTEC. ME, MTech, MC, MSc, in CSIT, etc. And you should have minimum 6 CGPA or 60 percentage. And you should not have any active backlog. And you should have good written and spoken skills. So the package for BE, BTech, and MC was 4.5 LPA. And for ME, MTech, MSc, it is 4.9 LPA. So I applied for this role on 26 March 2022. So you can see that on 9th of April, I had my coding assessment and the time was 30 minutes and the platform they are using was HackerRank. So you only have to write a single program and for that program, you should learn searching algorithm and sorting algorithms, array and array list and string and string function like pattern matching. So if you know all these things, then you can easily clear the coding assessment. So after that, on same day, I received another mail from the IBM so it was regarding for my second round which was English language assessment so if you are getting this email after doing the coding assessment it means that you have cleared the coding assessment that's why you are getting the mail for the second assessment so you can see that my English language test was on 10th of April next day from the coding assessment so in this English language test there is like many MCQ question and in that MCQs you can see question like you have to fill appropriate words for a given sentence and there will be antonyms, synonyms or match the word for given definition. So uh, this assessment was only of 15 minutes and in that 15 minutes you have to attempt as many MCQ you can. So after that on the same day I received another mail from the IBM that I have an interview on 13 April. So when I attend the interview, there was only a single person sitting. So that interviewer asked me all these questions. After that, on 14 April, I received my interview result. That thank you for participating in our virtual campus selection process. After you have provided other information and including supporting documents, provided you have successfully met our other hiring requirements. So this mail is for the verification. In the IBM, first you have to verify your all the documents. Only after that you will receive the offer letter. So after some days, I also received the call from HR as they want to take my confirmation that I want to join IBM or not. But after talking with the HR, I declined the offer. So you can see this email that with reference to our telephonic conversation, we understand that you want to withdraw your candidature for the position of associate system engineer with the IBM India. This is to bring to your notice that we have updated our records and wish to inform that your candidature stand cancelled for the applied post making it null and void and cannot be accepted at any time in the future. So here you can see I have received the mail for my declined offer. So now I will tell you the reason for the decline. So you know that I am already working in the TCS and my package is around 3.36 LPA and in the TCS notice period is of 90 days so if you resign TCS before one year then you have to pay the bond amount of 50,000 plus incentive which you have received by clearing IRA or CP exam so in my case I received 20,000 from IRA exam so total I have to pay 70,000 to the TCS to resign and after that I also need to serve notice period of 90 days because i join in october 2021 so my one year is still not completed and you can see that in the ibm i am getting a package of 4.5 lpa so if you subtract 70000 from this 4.5 lpa so after that in the end i will be going for a job for a 3.8 lpa package and they were giving me bangalore joining location so you can see that my home location is Delhi and my TCS office is also in Delhi. So it is best for me to work in my home location. But if I am going to Bangalore, this package will not be enough because in the Bangalore you have to pay for all your rent and many things. And in the end, I will be saving less than, than what I am saving now in the TCS because now 
I am working in my home location and for the IBM I have to work in the Bangalore location and one more reason is that they wanted me to join in May but you can see that TCS notice period is of 90 days so if I resign in April so I can only join IBM in July so this is all the reasons that's why I declined the IBM offer but if you are not having any job then you can go for this job because something is better than nothing now here is the syllabus for interview preparation so you can read all this before the interview also practice HR and MR question because many times I have seen that students are able to clear the technical interview but during the HR and MR interview they get stuck when they ask a different type of question so this is all about my IBM interview experience thanks for watching